Hi everyone, this is Boris from BGC and this is the very first video uh, weekly update where I'm going to explain what I did since last update. So uh, importantly, I did uh, two things. The first is to create a TP web page. So I'm going to uh, explain in a second what that is. And the second thing I've done is finally started to code. So I'm going to show what I have so far. It's very basic, uh, but I'll show it anyway. So, so about the first thing, so TP, it's basically like Patreon, but uh, it's, it's made by a French company. And so everything's in euros. And there are two main advantages of using TP rather than Patreon. So the first advantage is that if you're from Europe and you've used Patreon, you've seen that there is taxes added to, to your donation. Uh, so this is like VAT, it's called value added taxes. But in my specific case, uh, actually, I shouldn't have to add that tax, but Patreon doesn't allow me to, to disable uh, having that tax. So if you're from Europe and now you're using TP instead of Patreon, then you will not have those 20% added on top of your donation. So that, that, that's really good. The second advantage is that uh, in Patreon, everything is based in uh, US dollars. And at the end of the day, I have to transfer all those dollars to my uh, Euro account in France. And then there I have like other transaction fees and like conversion from uh, US dollars to euros. And so all of this adds up to a lot of money actually. And so it's better if you, at least if you're not from the United States to, to change, like to cancel your uh, monthly donation uh, from Patreon and instead uh, use TP. The second thing I've done, as I said, is to actually start programming. So I'm gonna show you what I have right now. So, this is it. So it's very simple. VGC illustration. It's a single window with like a viewer there where you can see four points so far. And very, very importantly, there is now a Python interpreter embedded inside the application. So what does that mean? That means that if you go there, you can type, do some scripting there. So for instance, I can type scene.addPoint and I give some coordinates like 300 100 and this adds a new point so it doesn't sound very fancy but it's the basic architecture in order to be able to do uh, much more uh, interesting stuff later uh, for instance because now we have full uh, scripting uh, capabilities we can do something like for i in range 20 so what that means for those who do not know Python, it means that I is gonna iterate through zero, one, two, three, and I'm gonna add a point, let's say 50 times I. So this means uh, 50 times zero, it's zero, 50 times one, it's 50, 50 times two, it's 100 and so on. So this is gonna add 20 points uh, at coordinates zero, 50, 100, 150, 200 and so on. So I just hit enter. And now you see all of these points. Uh, so all of this is already in GitHub and there are like a few instruction on, on how, like what's the dependency of the code, how to build it. Uh, so hopefully you can check that out. So actually uh, what I was thinking of doing is maybe starting next week, I'm gonna try to make uh, videos, hopefully uh, every week as well, m maybe even more. Uh, to try to go over the code and explain the code and the architecture uh, for those of you who know how to code. So this way, if you want to contribute, uh, that'll make it easier. Uh, and, and hopefully it's a way for people to get engaged in the project as well, since, since it's open sourced. All right, so that's all for today. I, I hope you enjoyed uh, this new format as a video and hopefully uh, see you next time. Bye.